Five Nights at Freddy's, a franchise that has too many games that I could list within three seconds, and now a movie. A fan base that is so crazy for anything lore that Matt Pack probably made like five to ten hours worth of footage on just a lore breakdown alone. Five Nights has taken over the world, it has taken over YouTube, and now it's taken over Hoi. <laughs> Today I have found a mod on the marketplace and it is the Five Nights at Freddy's mod. It is still in development, it is still early doors and I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to give it a go. Now I will be honest and I will say this off the bat, I know absolutely nothing about Five Nights at Freddy's. I am probably not the target audience for this mod. I mean my, my Five Nights knowledge goes as far as there are people who are dead inside suits and there was a guy who was purple and he killed kids or something. Like that. that's as far as my Five Nights at Freddy's knowledge goes. And with that that being said, we're just going to jump right on into it today and start off with Ana Animatronica. There we go. Animatronica with Freddy Fazbear as the leader of our nation. This is totally going to go well, isn't it? Let's get stuck in. And starting off, we are granted a little welcome by the anima ani I can't even say this word. An animatronica mod greeting page from the developers where they basically give us a breakdown. The developers made the mod because there was nothing Five Nights available and it's just a work in progress. It with, with that being said, no worries, devs. It's cool. I get you. You say the, uh, you, you mentioned that the communist path is still under development. That's perfectly fine. I don't touch communist. So with that being said, okay, I understand. Let me play now. Thank you very much, devs. Let's get into it. Looking at the focus tree, there is a lot over here in industry, a lot over here in the middle path. Democratic, not so much. Communist, non-existent. That's perfectly fine by me. Again, in the terms of tech, there doesn't seem to be any custom tech, again, which is perfectly fine by me. But it would be cool later down the line if maybe we we could turn light tanks or tanks into like mech fez faz bears or something. I don't know. I feel like that'd be a really nice addition. Also in that text blurb, it did mention something along the lines of, why is it in Texas and not Utah? And I'm gonna be honest, I kind of skimmed over that. I didn't even know it was in Utah. I knew it was in the middle of nowhere, but I didn't know it was in Utah. There you go. I learned something. But that being said, I'm gonna roll through this focus tree. I'm gonna do what I need to do. And I'm gonna find out why we're putting purple guy in prison. Oh dear God, it's times like this where I really wish that I should probably know the law because there's a lot going on. I've got disorganized army, I've got closed economy, all oh, that's fine, but my military high command is just all, like, even my industry is all, is all Five Nights related. I know Golden Freddy, I know that. He's like Freddy but with a golden shine, right? <laughs> I know absolutely nothing i'm gonna be real with you guys here but i'm just gonna roll with it i feel like i'm gonna i feel like i'm gonna save up for maybe chica the chicken that sounds like a good idea we'll go for chica we're gonna get that land dock uh, and i feel like maybe here as well i need to try and find someone who does me good for political power so it seems if i want to find myself some good political power in this world i need to go and give a rockstar bonnie a contract of which i feel like i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait until i've got 150 pp and then i'm just gonna be like hey 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 yo 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 how's it going bon bon sign the contract and give me the pp so i after completing our first major focus, we are granted with this, William Afton imprisoned. Even though we have taken care of William Afton, that doesn't mean that everyone now loves Freddy. The fascists and the communists are very unhappy about the fact that William is behind bars and they make a big part of our country. The fascists in Springtrap won't be a problem because they, they make quite an insignificant part of our country and they won't cooperate with the communists. But the communists are very angry and started a protest to free William Afton. Should we do something about that? So we can send all the commies to jail and and uh, essentially all of the all the nightmare animatronics won't be available anymore. Threaten to kill everyone who is supportive, a little bit drastic maybe, but it has a lower chance of leading to a civil war, or what are we gonna do? It doesn't matter, and then this will lead to it. I feel like maybe everyone who, who might watch this who is a bit of a Five Nights fan will be a little bit naffed off if I don't include the nightmare anima animatronics, and I don't know what the difference between a nightmare animatronic and a normal animatronic is. I don't know, I just got here. But I'm just gonna go for the middle just for the sake of going for the middle. <laughs> I'm now going to start pushing down my thing here, expand the regime, which gives me political power and it adds 15%, uh, sorry, 15% political power gain to Bonnie the Bonnie, and I like that. Okie dokie then, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the year 1940. As you can see, we have jumped forward quite a bit into the future and things have changed. So for context, I have now gone through my focuses to build up. As you can see, in two days, we attack Mexico. We've also released William uh, from the prison and we have exiled him completely. I need to do expand our industry to open this up and start building. Now, what has changed, you ask? Well, let me give you context. For Europe, this is the current state of the world. We have a communist Britain, a France doing French things. We have a red Spain, a monarchist Germany, a monarchist Austria, and a monarchist, or sorry, a fascist Lithuania. 
We also have a non-Stalin related Soviet Union. And to fix their civil war problems, uh, America just came in, steamrolled Mexico, changed their ideology to democratic, and then just left. That's where we're at. We have 48 divisions total, and now it is time to let the clock tick down. And on the 11th of December, go and play the UMS. A nice little visit. Let's get stuck in. Oh, that's a nice little pop-up as well. I just procayed it so you can't see the pop-up, but when the focus finished, the Americans revoked any guarantee they had on the UMS or the United Mexican States, and then they also gave me a claim. For, for, apparently I've got a justification to claim on them or something. I don't know, but that's cool. America backs out and lets you attack Mexico. I like that. That's awesome. Let's get stuck in. So there we go. We've had Mexico hand in and cap in. It is now time to welcome the proper nation of animatronica and I've been looking at our focuses and they get a little bit crazy from here on out. So we have this line here which is search for spring trap, build Fazbear's fright, Baja California gains a massive population. Uh, we also have animatronica factories and uh, improve the animatronic factories as well which gives us 25% monthly uh, monthly population. I don't know why I keep wanting to say population. We have these which allow us to expand again ideology alliances and stuff. We have this which gives us well army experience plus 10 15 percent recruitable pop plus 20 surrender and the 30 experience we have this which gives us mobilization doctrine and experience but what gets crazy is this build freddy fazbear's pizza 2 mexico city is renamed as freddy fazbear 2. <laughs> Like what? Okay, let it live and let live, live and let live. And it's yet another update. I've been going through my focus tree and as you can see by the focus tree, focus on Central America and obviously our map, we've ended up taking over the Americas thanks to our focus. America themselves, the US, decided to hand over Puerto Rico and let go of Panama as well. So thanks to them, we've grown just a little bit more. The world itself is a little bit of a mess. You've got Germany against the Soviet Union, Soviet Union against the world. Uh, America is also against the Soviet Union. Union. Brazil is part of the European faction, so Brazil is also against the Soviet Union. And America just gave Britain a little bit of a sit in the corner timeout, broke them apart, and now we have Scotland. The Spanish Commune also decided to eat a big chunk of Portugal and they also make them their little child. Good old Portugal is now Spanish Portugal. I'm pretty sure the yes is silent on that. And we are left ourselves in the corner once again in Central America with not much to do. I'm going to keep on just building up and building where I can. As you can see, I have no manpower right now and I am desperately trying everything I can. But it's just a waiting game. Truly it is. I'm just waiting to get through these focuses. I'm going to go down right wing, expand our alliance, and then I'm just going to keep going all the way until we get to the risky war. Because that's when we take on America. And I'm going to be honest, I, I ain't ready. <laughs> And I was waiting for this to happen, I just didn't know when it was going to. As you can see, we're in a little bit of a kerfuffle, and this is all thanks to my joyous friends, Colombia. Part of my focus tree is to expand myself southwards of the border and go into Colombia, and I cannot move any focus, or do any more focuses, until I have full control of all of these places down here. There is a problem with that though, and that's the fact of the second I declared on them, US and their faction joined the war. So not only do I have to fight the US and hold them off, I now have to wait until the Canadians join the border and until the French join the border. I don't think I'm gonna survive this, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. This, uh, I did, I, yeah, we've just lost Juarez. We've just lost Freddy's. We've just lost Dallas. I'm about to lose Mexico City. I don't feel like this is gonna last much longer. I feel like I'm literally about to end up surrendering in just a moment. I, I feel like the part of the tree that I'm doing right now, which is the expansion, was a hundred percent destined to be early early game i feel like i should have steamrolled this part of the tree first and then dealt with everything after i feel like i've done the focuses in the wrong order i am moving my troops to attack to hopefully redeem themselves and pull back the border but i don't think this is gonna last very long if i'm 100 percent honest dude are you kidding me there's a naval invasion from the south now oh my god i knew i was against america and i knew they were gonna be a pain in the ass but this is just i'm not prepared for this at all i feel like again i definitely should have done all of this early doors I feel like I've been stiff-armed here. You know what? We can witness this sad, sad moment together. The end of Freddy Fazbear. The end of the franchise. Because I we uh, I can't even speak. I'm just in absolute awe. I've been nothing but defending, building my anti-air that no longer exists. I have no factories really to do anything. This is it. This is the end. I can't defend against this. I don't want to push and waste my org either. I just... This is... 
This is sad. <laughs> this is so sad. This is the end. Whether or not we survive in the peace deal, I have no idea, but I really bled trying to hold it on, but America just overpowered me as America does late game. It is 1945. I, I can't really expect anything else to happen. I just, it is what it is. It is what it is, and that's a total annihilation. Although I only have 4%, I, I, I don't understand how I'm still existing. Oh, that's how. <laughs> I don't think I can come back from this. It's, it's only a matter of time before the Marines come and get me. But I, I, I will only surrender when I have nothing left. Whether or not I can survive until I have nothing left is a different story. You know what, guys? I feel like I'm going to end it here because there's like, there's nothing I can do. I have a maximum of 8k. I have no factories. I can't trade because nobody, I've got no factories to trade. And I keep getting naval invaded every second and I keep having to push them back out. There is no hope in this playthrough. This is a finished playthrough. I'm all done. Freddy's Fazbear's Pizzeria and Freddy Frasbear 2 are just, they're gone. <laughs> There's no way I'm winning this. I mean, this little island against that, no, nah, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not happening in a million years. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, click the like button and or subscribe. Share with your friends that will grow for the channel, all that fun stuff. And I do hope you have enjoyed this mod. Although I have not done it the justice, for a small mod that's still in development and was made in, in the sake of fun between friends, I feel like this is a really, really good mod. You can tell that there's definitely been love in it. Um, a lot of time has gone into this and I definitely feel like if you're a Freddy's fan and a Hoi 4 fan at the same time I'd say give it a go see if you can do far better than me I'm pretty sure you guys will um especially since I had AI turned off so maybe if you have historical turned on things might be different I don't know but that's where I'm gonna leave it thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video I do till then have a good one and I'll see you in the next one Ta da da